Hello, Creative Artly here, and today is going to be a bit of a different one, because I found this article um, on uh, Sigmund Freud and horses, and I'm going to rip him a new one, as well as his daughter, because she shares her father's views. So, yeah. Let's... First read the article, and then rip it to shreds. Here we go. Little girls love horses and ponies because they don't have the D word, Freud says. The father of psychoanalysis would attribute the popularity of My Little Ponies to penis envy. If Sigmund Freud were alive today, he'd likely attribute the middling box office success of My Little Pony the movie to penis envy. According to the father of psychoanalysis, little girls are essentially obsessed with horses because they wish they had the D-word. When girls ride horses, they see the horse as a phallic and empowering extension of themselves. It's not a little pony, it's a big penis. Weirdly, Freud's psychoanalyst daughter, who loved to ride, was all in on his theory. A little girl's horse craze betrays either her primitive auto-erotic desires if her enjoyment is confined to the rhythmic movement of the horse or her identification with the caretaking mother she enjoys above all looking after the horse grooming at etc or her penis envy she identifies with the big powerful animal and treats it as an addition to her body her phallic sublimations if it is her ambition to master the horse to perform on it etc anna freud wrote in 1926 but turning innocent equestrian interest into a matter of the D word was not just a family affair. Female scholars such as Judith Van Herrick of Penn State University, Alana Stalker Horner of the University of Iowa, and Edith Kramer of New York University, who founded the field of art therapy, wrote about girls' disproportionate preoccupation with horses as a way to obtain sexual power and potentially a penis. Today, most experts prefer to point to regular power. Horses are big and run fast, to explain children's love of all things equine. But when Freud proposed his hypothesis, women were just making the transition from riding side saddle to riding with one leg on each side. The literal horse location, combined with the general sexism of the time, caused this fascination to become mistakenly and arguably hilariously gendered. Freud's theory about Girls and horses infuriates nearly every woman writer I know. Sally Morgan, a holistic physical therapist specializing in animal therapy, told Fatherly, horses represent independence, something young women crave. Psychologist Ava Glassrud similarly points out that Freud's logic is obviously flawed because it, this childhood interest in riding horse extends to boys and girls who want to explore, take risks, and just get outside and engage in physical activity. You're using your body to do something that's similar to rough and tumble play, Glassroot explains to Fatherly, which has many well-documented de developmental benefits for children. You're going fast and you're exercising independence and autonomy. In fact, you're actually controlling another being. Further research from Ellen Sandsetter, a professional of early childhood education at Queen Maud University College in Norway, found that when kids spend their time exploring outside before age nine, they're less likely to have anxiety and separation issues as adults. While riding can be risky, Sand Setter found that this comes with some reward. Kids who got minor injuries from falling between the ages of five and nine were less likely to be afraid of heights as adults. Horses are kind of the perfect way to explore and take a risk, Glassroot says. Simply, girls love horses for the same reason as boys love horses because they're good for them. In the end, the outdated penis envy theory of My Little Pony set represents not a phallic obsession for girls, but a phallic obsession of Freud, some sort of thinking that prompted concerns that bicycles would make women too horny. It was all the result of a lot of people taking any interaction with that region way too literally, and it lingered because, till relatively recently, many top-level instructors were men, Morgan says. It was absurd, but also a symptom of a bigger problem of how Power is still seen today. 
Powerful woman ho- has always been considered manly. That's why when girls said they wanted adventure, autonomy, and a cloud by riding horses, Freud and his follower- followers just heard dong. But to be fair, if Freud were alive today, he'd probably be a brony. He'd also be obsessed with unicorns. Hmm. So, yeah. Interesting article. Um. First things first. The the Freuds are crazy. Um. Like. Sigmund himself had a little bit too much of a fascination with the D word. So he'd throw it into every theory and hypothesis he ever came up with, pretty much. Including this one. Um, but horses have always been innately part of human culture. Um, ever since um, Spain, which is why big things like the Spanish Riding School in Austria, and the Spanish bringing horses to America, and just people enjoying horses in general. It comes out of a sense of freedom, not because women feel like they're lacking something that men have. Riding is very much freedom, risk, independence, and it's oh so much fun. It's a relaxation. It's exercise, it's therapeutic, it's enjoyable, and honestly, I love riding. I am absolutely horse crazy, and that's not a bad thing, even though Freud kind of thinks it is, but like I said, he was a little bit crazy and thought everything had to do with the D word, so yeah, and the fact that his own daughter agrees with how crazy half like, half to the majority of her dad's stuff is, is also not great. Like, the Freuds are just a whole line of crazy, D-word obsessed people, and it's kind of sad. But horses are more so, like, a freedom and elegance and a power. Like, not sexual power, but just regular force of power. And riding them gives everyone a sense of freedom. So... Like, girls can love horses just as much as boys can love horses. It's not supposed to be a genderized thing. Like, it's not bad for a girl to ride, you know, standard style. Because, honestly, I've tried it. Like, backwards riding in the saddle and side saddle are both very uncomfortable and barely hold you in place. I've also had, like, five accidents while riding, and that's honestly part of the charm, even if it does hurt for a while. For example, my accidents have been almost flying off of a horse's head because the poles were too close and he jumped him. One time was rearing because a younger horse had run behind mine on a trail. The other was cantering because something spooked her. I fell off and sprained my neck. The other two happened when I first started within the same year at a local riding place that has now since closed, High Hopes. It was my same foot both times. First time my entire foot, second time just my big toe, within the fall and summer of the same year. So, like, it's exhilarating, it's risky, it's dangerous, but it's also so much fun. Honestly, walk and trot are my favorite way of riding, but yeah. So is, like, trotting, like, not too like a gallop around barrels, but still going semi-fast around barrels. Such a freeing blast and so much fun to do. But anyways, Freud, like, is a bit creepy, had a bit of a problem with liking the D word too much. So, when women started riding, like, regular saddle instead of side, of course he took it to me and, like, Oh, they they don't have penis, so da 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 da, da. and he attributed and he attributed that into why girls love horses so much, and that's just offensive, because anyone can like anything, as long as like what they like isn't absolutely harmful. So, and riding horses is like one of the farthest things from 
uh, you know, like, absolutely horrendous. Like, yes, it's risky, yes, there's accidents, and yes, sometimes it can be dangerous, but what isn't dangerous and risky? Honestly, like, the freedom that comes with riding a horse and the relationship you have with a horse are just so amazing. A horse basically, they're basically big dogs. Like, if you interact with them enough, they become your best friend as well as your mount. So, yeah. Point is, horses are great, the Freuds are out of their minds, and until the next one, bye bye